Okay, today I would like to uh, show an example that how can we uh, save the files from Overleaf and upload it to uh, archive, which is kind of a standard operation for a PhD student. So first, suppose you are using Overleaf to edit your paper. And here we can see you have the paper, you have uh, the Overleaf here. And the way we want to do is to submit, click Submit. Yeah, but very likely when you click Submit, it will tell you, okay, there are some errors in the latex. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure you don't have any error. Okay, here, when I click this uh, window, we see I have several errors. So I will go to the scene and say, okay, probably I have some wrong sign here. Let me delete this uh, problematic symbol here. Okay, then I recompile the file. Okay, in this case, yeah, we don't see any errors. Okay, in that case, we can click the submit. Then you will see there are different options which correspond to a different format. So here we say submit your paper to the archive and the, please use this link, download the project zip with submission file because the archive need the BBL file. Okay, so we click download. Uh, it will probably take some time, but uh, eventually you will see the file will be downloaded and they will compile the project and generate the BBL file. Okay, it's, this file is pretty big, so you can see what's going on here. Okay, so now uh, we can go to the folder. Okay, so let's probably can make a new folder, go to the folder and probably rename it as whatever name, doesn't matter, okay? So it doesn't matter, doesn't matter, okay? So then we would like to upload the things we have to the archive. First, we can delete the things we don't want. For example, uh, the backup folder back up some my previous edits, so it's no longer needed. So I delete this. And uh, the figures are the necessary files because we will use them, so we don't touch those. And here, okay, this is pretty much the things we need. So, okay, then we can close it. And the next step is go to the archive. Okay, so suppose you have the archive account. If you don't, you can register one and ask someone to endorse the archive account for you. Okay, then you can click this, start a new submission. Okay, and I have read and agree to the instruction, by some uh, agree, okay, another agree, okay, okay. I am submitting as an author, yes, and uh, probably need some uh, license, and you can see this is minimal, right, so we can choose that and choose the disciplines, so we can say, well, probably we can choose the field of vision here, and then, oh, I've got to click this. So click this and continue. Okay. So here is a place you can upload to the file you just created. You can copy this guy. You can click choose file here and click this done the matter and upload it. Uh, again, this step can take some time. And when we uh, generate that, we can probably go back to here and uh, okay, download the, the PDF because we might need that for the upload purpose, okay? All right, so here is the paper, okay. So let's go to here. Oh, okay. So there are some errors contains characters A to Z. Rename the figure one to figure underscore one. Okay, okay. So this is another uh, standard problem here. So we can rename to underscore one, rename underscore two, rename underscore three. Okay, so make sure you don't use space. 
when you name the files in in latex okay oops so rename okay okay so but uh, make sure you also change the stuff in the paper okay so figure one this one should be fine but uh, this guy need to rename okay then we need to go to figure two okay so change it to underscore let's see the error okay attempt to rename okay so here we can easily do the things like that so figure two to figure underscore two let's find the next one replace next one okay that's it then for this guy is also okay so we can make label it as a figure one figure one figure one okay that should be fine okay so figure underscore one Okay, then we can see figure three. Let's see, where can we find? Okay, replace, replace. This one should be fine. Figure four. Okay, uh, let's replace this one. This should be fine, this should be fine, and replace this one. Okay, figure five. Okay. Replace, replace, and this should be fine. Now we can recompile it and repeat whatever we have done. Submit. Okay, so send it to archive, download to the file. Then now we can delete this guy. We no longer need this one. Okay. Yeah, you were see some error message here but be patient and here you can see you can delete all to redo the upload it's pretty easy okay so something is downloading and you can go back to here okay so it's here then put into the new folder i can even just keep this name here and choose file then click this upload the file it takes some time. Yeah, you can see the progress of the uploading at the button side, 60%, 70%, etc. And hopefully this time it will not give me any error. And sometimes it can give me error like 10 rounds, something like that. Okay, after we upload it, then continue process file, then it will pass if you have any error in the files. Oh, it's okay. Then, oh, I find something weird. So I need to go back and delete the backup. Okay, remember we delete that in the previous round and we can also delete the backup here. Then process again. Okay, process okay, then continue. Now you need to type in the, the things in your paper. Okay, so let's see uh, the title. We can just copy, paste here. Okay, and the authors, we can also copy, paste here. And you can see the author, author should be separate using comma or Okay, I, I'd like to use comma, but you can use other symbol, okay. Then, okay, I think here it is. And abstract, okay, so abstract, I typically prefer to grab the abstract from, from the paper, abstract, okay. Unless you have some special text. Okay, so here you can see, we can put the things here and then we don't have this URL, so we can just use this one. Okay, so here is the link of the, the tool and the, for example here we can see 
make sure the link is working. Okay, we have the link here. And uh, yeah, we check the names are right. The title is right. And here, if it's already published, you can add the things here. But now this paper is not published yet. So we just leave this stuff blank, okay? And you can see, oh, here you can see this one is for latex. So we need to delete that. So again, to check if we don't have contain any weird uh, latex symbol here. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. I find another issue here. So yeah, this is not correct. Okay. So if you don't understand what I'm doing, you can you can Google it. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a common mistake in latex, and we I think we need to fix that. But anyway, so let's first uh, save it. And then later we can uh, redo this kind of stuff. Okay. Then we, if we find something wrong, we need to go back to check it. Okay. Okay, so ch change this. Change this as well. Oh, seems there a lot, okay. Okay. Oh, almost done, okay. This is the one in the abstract. Okay. C, okay, so you, if you look at the abstract, you can see something weird here, right? Okay, then after I change it, then I recompile it. Yeah, it'll be magically fixed. Okay, so then now uh, we need to submit the stuff again. Click, submit to archive, download this. After you do it several times, you will be really fast of doing this kind of stuff. Okay, so delete. Then we say, okay, we have something wrong. We need to go back to the add files. Okay, then we need to delete everything and uh, re-upload the stuff. Okay. Yeah, as as long as you know the process, it should not take a lot of time. So you can see here. Ah, okay, save it to here and uh, again. We can upload the file, add file, choose file, click the new created zip file, upload. Yeah, because the, the file name of the zip were not used in the submission, so it, you don't need to worry about that. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty fast this time, you can see. Uh, it's almost done. Okay, again, delete the things that you don't want. The backup folder is not necessary, delete it. And then continue process. Okay, it should be okay. And then check it. The thing you type in here is correct. Title, authors, abstract. And you can also drag this window to make this window bigger, smaller. And you can see uh, okay, yeah, it seems everything is correct here. Okay. Hmm. Then save and continue. And uh, after you click this, the archive will allow you to double check the things you type in here. Okay, so here is the title, the authors, the abstract, and it will ask you to select another list is fine. So the important thing is to view your article. So if you click the view article, you will see the temporary PDF file, okay? So it takes some time. Uh, 
Okay. Then you will see, okay, uh, this is the title, author affiliations abstract, and make sure these are corrected, okay? And you can see all the figures is fine. Figure two, figure three, figure four, table one, okay, uh, figure five. Okay, so it looks everything's here. Yeah, don't forget to check the acknowledgement, uh, reference, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so everything seems uh, correct. Then you can close it and uh, refresh the window. Okay, refresh the window and uh, click uh, submit. Click submit and uh, uh okay then you will see okay the status become processing so after it's processed you will have the paper uploaded in uh, archive that's it okay then that's it and the us receive an email say well your, your paper has been submitted okay hopefully this will help for and uh, thank you so much for watching this video